Hey, Ben with Heirloom, I'm with Mark Kilt, one of our uh, lead craftsmen. Uh, we're on a private uh, residence in Greenville. We get asked a lot when we do our uh, curved circular staircases about the volute handrail fittings. Um, so this is a standard volute handrail fitting and quite often um, when we put a standard fitting on it, it comes out a little high. And so uh, the alternative is to do a five axis CNC cut uh, handrail fitting, but they're they're kind of expensive. Um, this particular residence, they chose to go with a standard fitting, and then once they saw it in, they decided it was the wrong decision, and so they're having to switch it out. Uh, so, Mark, tell us uh, what the height is of the standard volute handrail fitting uh, off the off the bottom step there. Yeah. With the fitting, with the normal fitting, you're going to end up almost 48 inches off the first tread. And that's kind of so, tall. Yeah. So we've got the uh, the new fitting that you're going to be putting on today. Uh, hold that up and let's kind of see how that's going to look. Okay. I can kind of hold it aside to give a comparison of how much drop you'll probably get on this. So it's going to be a lot more comfortable. Yeah. So we'll come back um, end of the day today, first thing in the morning. We'll see the new fitting in and all the balusters and, and how, it'll, how it'll finish out. Hi, we're back here at this private residence in the Greenville area, and as you can see, we've got the new CNC cut ramping volute handrail fitting installed, and I think it looks great. It's substantially lower than the standard volute, uh, so it definitely accomplishes what the homeowners are looking for. I hope that this helps kind of explain the difference between the two. Thank you.